Hey, this is Mark, and this is the Beginner Guitar Series, so welcome. If you like the videos, please like them. If you subscribe, I really appreciate it, because that's awesome, helps me out. So, this is a video about rhythm. So, we've been focusing on the right hand for the last couple of videos. The right hand is responsible for the rhythm of the song, and a lot of times you'll hear songs, and they'll play the same chord progression, but they just vary up the rhythm a little bit, and it sounds completely different, so rhythm is very important. But it all starts with a basic 4-4 rhythm. Actually, the majority of Western music that we all listen to, uh, country, rock, blues, is 4-4 is four -four music, the vast majority of it. All that means is there's four beats per measure, so when you're counting it out, you go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So four beats per measure. So go ahead and mute the strings and just follow along there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's our basic beat. That is playing four beats per measure. Now, say you want to play eight beats per measure. Notice how we're doing all downstrokes. One, two, three, four. The easiest way to add an extra chord in there is just play on that upstroke. So these are all downstrokes. You want to play on the upstroke as well. So one, two, three, four downstrokes. One, two, then we add in the upstroke. One and two and three and four and one and two. So now we're playing eight notes per measure. One and two and Okay, so that right there, that one and two and three and four and, that is the basis for almost all the rhythms that I play and that is in rock music today for as far as guitar rhythm. And the, the way that you vary it up is you actually simply play or don't play certain parts of the, certain of those eight strums. So, for example, if I were to play one and two and three and four and, and I just didn't play that first and, so I went one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and. Notice my arm is doing the exact same motion. One, one, skip, two and three and four and skip. One, skip, two, and three, and four, and one. So I'm just choosing not to play that one upbeat. Now here's another variation. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. So I'm just skipping the first two upbeats. Okay, let well, me think of another one here. One, two, and three, four, and one. So I'm skipping the first and, and the and that goes with the three. Okay, so a lot of options in there, but they're all based around that one, two, or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And I would venture to say, I don't have uh, statistics to back this up, but I would say, I would venture to say that 80%, 85% of all uh, rhythmic playing can be deduced from that method. So one and two and three and four, and at least all four, four music. So. Um, and all the examples that are in this series, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, can be boiled down to that rhythm. So that is the basis. I would please practice that. Just get a metronome, turn it on, and put it at some comfortable tempo, and just practice playing. So if it's going click, 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 you do click, click. 
click, 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 and practice that. And then practice varying it, okay? Awesome, thanks for paying attention. Remember, like the videos, subscribe if you like them, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.